What is up, Blaze Cesspool? I am coming at you today with a $500 PC build. Less than an Xbox One, more than a PS4. But will give you more performance than either of them combined. Well, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, I just know that it'll give you more performance. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say that it's better for your opinion. But in my opinion, it's at least... 150% better and much cheaper than an Xbox One. It'll run every game at medium on the market right now, as long as you don't have anti-aliasing turned all the way up or anti-astropic filtering. So let's get into it. First up is the AMD Athlon X4 750K. It is overclockable. It's a processor, of course, and it's gonna and it's an FM2 socket. It's an older version. It costs $79.99 on Newegg. I'm going to be posting all of these links. Um, if you don't live in the United States, you're sort of out of luck with Newegg, but you could probably find the same parts around the same price on different websites, like PC Part Picker, maybe. Uh, I didn't check them because I don't really like it. I would prefer Newegg over it any day that you ask. The motherboard which is also an FM2 because you need an FM2 socket motherboard to run an FM2 processor. It's an Elite Group Micro ATX HDI, HDMI ready motherboard with four USB 2.0 ports and one PCI 2.0 port for $45.99 on Newegg.com. To fill up that PCI E Express port, I had uh, two entry level graphics cards they're not really entry level, they're more mid performance. But not they're like uh older versions though, and they're not the new versions. There's the AMD choice and the Nvidia choice. These are all past generations. None of it's gonna be new because new is for like high enthusiast gaming. I would like to say, but some of them aren't. So the AMD choice is the Asus AMD. 7770 gigahertz edition. It's crossfire ready and it's $109. I'm just going to go what's important here. It's uh one HDMI port, one display. It didn't specify which display it is. I'm just assuming that it might be a VGA and then there's one DVI. It's HDCP ready, which is pretty nice. It has 640 shader cores or otherwise known as stream processors. I'm not sure why they would call it that over shader cores. Next up is the NVIDIA choice. The NVIDIA choice is the 650 Ti, which is significantly more powerful than the AMD card. It is a 1 gigabyte, oh, so I also forgot to mention that the AMD is a 1 gigabyte also. But getting back to business, the GTX 650 Ti is from Elite Group. It is $109, not the make AMD look any worse. I mean, in my opinion, this is the best buy that you could possibly get, the NVIDIA choice. If you're an AMD supporter, I have no problem. Okay, let's get into the shader cores. There's 768 shader, co shader cores, also known as CUDA cores, which to me is a significant difference. It's 228 extra cores that you're getting, which is pretty much a more powerful 7770 and it is clocked at a mem it is clocked at a significantly lower clock score or clock than the 7770 it's 928 megahertz core but knowing nvidia if you've been an nvidia supporter for a while or you don't even know who they are they generally have the lower clocks Next up is the case. It's a Cooler Master Elite 430. It's fifty dollars, not fifty nine dollars. It's forty nine ninety nine on Newegg. It's a bottom mounted PSU for maximum airflow. Has five three point five inch internal bays, and it's a pretty small one. It's about half. It's about a foot and a half tall by a, about a foot and four inches long. It has five. Expansion ports, one 120 millimeter fan. It's a front mounted, or no, side mounted. My bad. 
and the limit is 999 per customer. <laughs> I'm not sure who would want to buy 999 of these, but if you're running a massive server, go right ahead. Next up is the storage, which is an HDD. It's a Western Digital Green 500 gigabyte edition. It's 59.99, which is the cheapest that you could probably get. If you can find cheaper, it's probably refurbished, but I'm not going for refurbished. I'm going for what you guys might be seeking. If you like the environment, then this is definitely the one for you. It has a SATA 6.0 gigabyte per second. The form factor is 3.5, and it has a 64 megabyte, megabyte, not megabyte. My bad. Cash for low power storage. Now, the PSU might have a little worse than what you're... Uh, it will definitely power the computer, but I don't really prefer low power such as this. Sorry if you just heard anything. I had an itch and my mic was in my way. It's a 450 Rosewheel capstone. It's 450 watts. It's a gold, which is pretty nice considering the power that you will get out of it. There's a 140 millimeter fan on it, and it's 59.99 on Newegg. Next up, in case the Western Digital doesn't come with a SATA cable, I have one for 59 cents. It's not bad. It's 18 inches long. That is a 90 degree to 180 degree. And the final piece to patch it all up is the Crucial Ballistics 8 gigabyte RAM, the DR3. 1,333. Um, it has a CAS latency of 9, and the timing is a bit strange, I'd like to say. I use this personally. I use two of them because I have a 16 gigabyte RAM computer. So all of this should cost around 470 to 480, depending on where you live. If you live in New Jersey, Ah, you're getting taxed. You live in California, you're getting taxed, and you live in Pennsylvania. I believe you will get taxed in Pennsylvania also. Uh, this is able to run most games, most of all games, at medium. At 50 to 60 frames a second, which isn't too shabby. Uh, in my opinion, this is a decent computer for what it's worth. Check out the specs. This is Blaze Razix signing off.